Hi, and welcome back to our LearnDQL per use case series. If you're new here, my name is Sinisha, and I'm a developer advocate at Dynatrace. As someone into infrastructure, I want to compare how our time series is changing week over week. For example, when comparing the change in memory consumption of hosts between two weeks. In this episode, I'll show you step by step how to use various DQL capabilities to achieve our goal. First, let's figure out the memory consumption for hosts of the last week with the help of the time series command. Executing the query will give you a record for every host with an array field called this week. Every value in the array shows you the memory consumption for a time bucket of this week. Next, I want to add the memory consumption for the host from two weeks ago. I use the fields add command to add a new field called last week. To populate the new field, use the lookup function. The query for the function is the same as before, only with a different time frame. To get the correct memory consumption of the actual host, you set the source field and the lookup field parameters. Every record now has information about memory consumption of two weeks ago. Now I want to calculate the average memory consumption for the two weeks. Therefore, let's add two new fields, CPU this week and CPU last week. With the calculated average value of the arrays by using the array average function. Also, let's add a field diff showing the CPU consumption change. Let's sort the result to get the host with the biggest absolute change at the top. Next, we add a new field indicator to highlight if there was a significant change based on certain thresholds. Now we are done with the simple dql example with a colorful table as a result. For more details, click on the notebook link in the description below and stay tuned for more on the QL per use case videos.